it's just pretty cool. I'm just really like privileged to be a part of all these like experiences um, as like a first gen Latina woman in STEM, I guess. Growing up, I go camping with my grandma, and she very much was of the heart that we are stewards of the earth. It's our job to like leave things like better than you find it. We go to the beach, you clean up some trash. You know, when we were little, we'd be like, oh, that that wasn't my trash. I didn't leave it there. She's like, so? Like, we're all part of this earth. So uh, growing up in San Bernardino, we have a lot of like terrible air quality. My interest in environmental sciences stem from wanting to address climate injustices my community face. I just wasn't sure if I was, um, I mean, qualified enough, and I just like risked it, I guess. Honestly, I was a little bit nervous at first. I didn't know how I was going to be received. I'm new, I'm a woman. You know, I've been through homelessness, I've been through addiction, I've been through that whole thing. Everybody welcomed me, they explained things to me, they like answered my questions. So I myself grew up in a rural area as a first generation college student, and I remember back in high school watching all of these cool documentaries about the science done here at NASA and dreaming of being able to do that myself one day. So it's really exciting for me to be able to provide these opportunities that I could only dream of. The Orbiting Carbon Observatory satellites measure CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere. Now to make sure that the satellites are measuring accurately, we can take measurements from the ground and compare them. NASA measures carbon dioxide from space, from the air, and from this rooftop today. And NASA is collecting CO2 measurements all the time. A lot of opportunities to get out into the field and actually learn how to do this. And you can come out of the university having a skill set that, that not that many people have. 